Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So, next match, Cross Balanced Cup. It has been a couple of days, but, you know, let's pick this one up again. We have um, um, two old school decks from the Synchro era. I updated the first list. Uh, thanks again for the suggestions. I uh, decided to switch up the, the Vio Turbo build to the um, Dark Dive Bomber uh, Blackwing deck. It's, um, you know, basically Dark Strike Fighter, I mean Dark Dive Bomber, if I'm not mistaken, was the OCG name from uh, Dark Strike Fighter, and that's pre-Errata. So as you know, Dark Strike Fighter now has the Errata and updated ruling that it can only be used, is it during main phase 1? I think so. So now you can like attack and potentially deal burn damage, you know, during main phase 2. Uh, and potentially attack for games, so you know, increasing the potential or the OTK potential of the deck by a lot. And I feel it's much more competitive compared to the, you know, Vio Turbo builds. Um, but yeah, anyway, Synchro Infernities is the opponent. Both decks are very similar focused, have like a very similar strategy. Pump out big Synchros, uh, have a lot of back rows to protect your field and go from there. But, uh, you know, both these decks are quite um, different at the same time because they're, they're perp, but I mean, it, it's two completely different engines. While Blackwing is a bit more focused on control, control-based, you know, Infernities. Infernities, especially the Synchro build, you want to get your hand as soon as possible in the graveyard. And the Synchro build was running the, is it Infernity? Uh, Inferno? I think so, the, you know, the... The trap that it's like a big foolish burial for the deck. Old school Infernities were running that one. Um, so this particular Blackwing deck, again, 2009, had access to, you know, the, the powerful Synchros, uh, Brionek, Catester, and so on. So, and uh, with Brionek, again, I mean, the, the thing is, is that um, if Infernities can't pop off and <laughs> drawing more monsters to, you know, can't use Necromancer, no, um, whatchamacallit, the level 1. Ah, the Lone Fire one. You know which one I mean. Anyway, so go second. But Backlinks is a deck that obviously wants to go first, especially with the opening rule of opening with six cards. Uh, the fact that Blackwings has access, or is, is, if Blackwings have access to Black Whirlwind, their searcher, their continuous spell that, you know, searches uh, monsters from the deck, but with lower attack, uh, the deck, you know, can, can like escalate really quickly. But uh, the problem is, is that if the deck goes second and you have to, uh, you know, commit to the board with your very crucial normal summon, if your opponent has like something to stop that, a bottomless trap hole, book of moon, that prevents, you know, black rim, at least black rolling from searching, it puts the Shura, for example, face down. So that's very hard for Blackwing to come back after that, especially if you're playing against another super fast deck that, you know, pumps out those big beat sticks. Um, so this is basically game. The Synchro Infernities, you know, from the, the old school era. Um, this should be a t yeah. This is indeed a TCG built by uh, Dale Billy, though. If you know, if you're an old school player, you definitely know Dale. Um, probably one of the biggest names here in this game's history, uh, especially his brother as well, Lazaro. But um, and that, that was what you know what I was saying is is that uh, back in 2009 we didn't have Trishula yet here in the TCG. Um, but I mean, like the level 8 package is, is still strong. You have, uh, what is it called, the 100 Ice Dragon that can like copy the, the Lone Fire Infernity tribute itself and, you know, basically establish your board with even bigger synchros. So this is fantastic. Double Whirlwind plus, no, plus, at least plus Normal Summon Shura, that's fantastic. You can search Bora for a potential extra normal, well, normal summon during the next turn or potentially, you know, a special summon for big damage potential push for big damage but again as i mentioned before getting off the crucial normal summon is important and here the the normal i, I went for blizzard as a normal summon because blizzard is basically your uh, to go to level six synchro play goyo the what is it called the level six blackwing monster and there is another one a uh, brionic obviously um but again that that's something i've mentioned i mean the thing here is that i could have typhoon the other one and if i did that i would have you know potentially would have been able to clean my opponent's monster board but then i don't think there was another option to make let's say scrap dragon or something like that because that's not in the main deck uh not sure if it was released back then i don't think so but i don't at least i think there wasn't any option for me if i uh, you know didn't destroy the infernity launcher with typhoon i don't think there was an, uh, at least an option for me to um to destroy the launcher at least during my turn or next turn so I think this particular end board, even though Blackwing drew the nuts, like like this Shura is the nuts, 
I can, you know, search, like, at least double search, search Kalut, search uh, Gale, probably commit to the field and, you know, have Delta Crow to potentially, you know, Harpy's Stratodus or my opponent's uh, back row. And then, you know, sure, I can attack over any monster, use Kalut, for example, and go from there. That would have been my duel, but nope, not the case. And uh, I need to activate the lure. I can't wait, right? Um, I think the, the best was like draw double Blackwing. So Sirocco and maybe Shura or Bora. No, well, even then. Yeah, probably. Uh, well, a, a strong normal summon. So pro preferably Shura. Shura. Uh, then again, you know, Sirocco with the attack boost definitely would have been nice also. So Allure of Darkness getting some speed into the deck, banishing those useless darks. And uh, because of Royal Oppression, again, like. Back then, and you know, piloted by Rodrigo de Cor as the Vayu variant of the deck. Um, the thing is that, if I'm not mistaken, you can keep using Vayu from the graveyard, even though if you have Royal Oppression on the field, you know, your opponent can use your own copy of Oppression against you. But, you know, Vayu is not once per turn. So that's nice. But again, Vayu, it wasn't the most consistent card. It's fantastic if you search it with uh, Shura, for example, but it's a card that, again, you don't really want to open with. So this is basically Oppression Control, sitting, uh, what is it called, Armor Master, level 7 Blackwing, and uh, Oppression plus a Solemn, I think, so that, that, that this should be my duel. Blackwing, at least uh, Infernities, is not going back after that. And Special Summon Gale, again, your opponent is able to use your own Royal Oppression, but that's why Trapstun is there. And uh, yeah, again, if this wasn't game, I still had the potential Dark Strike Fighter to, you know, deal the last burn damage and uh, Tomb Cat, or this Cannon Soldier tribute my monsters away. So game number five, it's going, you know, really back and forth to very similar decks. Uh, but I go second, and Black Wings back then wasn't really running too many hand traps, maybe the DD Crow. Um, but it hurts, not running, well, then again, my Infernities pops off, even though Infernities isn't the most consistent deck. The fact that, you know, it's running Greffer, you could easily set up your graveyard and, you know, get off a potential big launcher. And if you can do that, that could potentially start up some, uh, you know, shenanigans plays, even though um, that feels much weaker compared to the Exceed version, where you can immediately empty your hand with Street Patrol or something like that. But obviously those, car th those cards weren't released back then. So here are, I think my only option, no Black Rose because of Stardust and you know the one of, one of Barrier is there. So I go for Armor Master sitting uh, on, you know, four back row plus Oppression and my opponent not having any out, any out for uh, that big Armor Master protected by, you know, like Book of Moon, Oppression and Trapstun. But Shine Tornade, Shine Tornade basically seals the deal. I, uh, I don't think there is anything I can top that. Well, maybe a Shura, obviously Shura, to attack over Gref, or at least try to attack over Gref. We're not sure what the other sets are, but uh, a Shura definitely would have been a nice top deck. But uh, it is what it is, going well back and forth. I believe this was, a, this was an okay matchup, right? Both very uh, equal decks. So, Infernities take the three points over uh, Dark Strike, Fighter, Dark Dive, Bomber, Black Wings. And uh, next matchup, whew, we have Satella Knights from 2015 versus, you know, Shenanigans, Exceed Shenanigans versus another Exceed Shenanigans deck, and that's uh, Windups featuring Shocklock. So, the Windup Shark Magician combo. So, feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them side out. Peace.